Greetings and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? <sighs> We're already five days into uh, September and uh, boy, so many of us within our community, in our state, we are going through a lot of things. Hi, Lucy John. What a beautiful, what a wonderful and beautiful surprise this is having you here with us. Hi, Susan. Hello, Irene. Thank you for all of you joining in. I truly want to dedicate this moment to our fire department in Los Angeles County for doing exemplary work and going beyond the call of duty. Well, it is their job, I know. It is their job, this is what they signed up to do. But when we look at the jobs that we sign up for and the things we go through, sometimes it's so good to have others appreciate and talk about appreciation, a community that has come together in providing and helping uh, not only neighbors, but law enforcement and are the soldiers of fire, which are the fire keepers and the home keepers and our safe keepers, our fire department. So kudos to LAFD, Glendale FD, Burbank FD, every single one. And with that, you know, when we think about um, where do you feel home the most? So many say home is the place of my safety. It is my net. It is where I feel comfortable and I am safe and secure. We're also home in our body. And every single one of us, when we think about uh, healing our body and healing our pain and moving forward to being safe in your environment, which it could be from your car, it could be safe being in an elevator, it could be safe being inside your home or any kind of a dwelling, either a shop or office. But where we feel most home is a place of serenity and safety. There are women who home is not always the place of safety. And when we think about what causes us this unsettling feeling of walking on eggshells is also to think about it's not always a fire that puts us in a hazardous place. Sometimes it is inside our own dwelling. Today I'm going to be talking about fears and how we create this internal fears, which is absolutely real from the outside. But when we think that I have no control or I can't do anything about it or I have no means of changing my situation. And to understand fully and completely that there is always a way. It is making the choice to make that change. And most of us who do not make that change is not so much of the fear of what will happen, but if I were to make that change and I become successful, the ramification, being responsible of that is more fearful because we have not thought that part as thoroughly as being in the moment and safeguarding ourselves in our cave, in our story, or in the field of danger. So I'm going back to talk about 
not necessarily domestic abuse and domestic violence at this very moment, but a client of mine who came in uh, a week ago. And he came in because of stress and anxiety, under the gun, constantly stressed, and his issue was to reduce his stress and overcome an anxiety that was truly creating a phobic reaction that he was having a hard time going to work. Now, when we get to that freeze point, it's no longer a fear, but it's a fear that has been added to a point of phobia. And phobia in itself is uh, putting its brakes on to a point that it starts as a thought. And then through the nervous system, we feel it and our body reacts by shutting down either uh, creating a disease or creating a phobic reaction of heart palpitating and feeling an anxiety attack coming on. Now, all that can be stemmed from fear until it becomes more and more to the point that he thought he could not go to the office. Thinking that, what is there in the office that is stopping me? Is it the car? I have not been in an accident. Why can't I drive? So someone referred him to a hypnotherapist. In two sessions, let's call him Jerry. Okay, I'm not going to give his name for the sake of safety. So Jerry comes in. And on our second session, as we are doing the hypnosis and delving in there, and he's concentrated on what could the sphere be, he goes into another, uh, another dynamo. And it's like this, uh, what we call, it's like a domino effect. So we start peeling away and dropping dominoes. And as we are doing a timeline therapy of going backwards to see where this stemmed from, subconsciously, he was holding on to a very negative relationship. Now, a relationship that got severed a year and a half ago at work as a partnership. Now, we go back. Was that it? It was we clear that, but he. when I ask him, are we complete, the subconscious says no. So we go back again to a point that when he was 19 years old, a very dramatic relationship affected him so drastically, so much of an impact that he decided, I am not going to trust another person that comes into my life and wants to do uh, work. At that time, it was not work. It was when he was a Boy Scout, they did a partnering and this guy burned him, uh, not burn in his skin, but burned him and uh, uh, made fun of him. And he became the laughing stock of a lot of other guys in his troop to a point that every night they would come to the tent and make uh, do pranks on him. That was traumatic, even for a 19 year old. So a 19 year old boy in his subconscious mind decided I'm not going to trust another person, especially a friend. Now we do this, bring it forward all the way to this time. And just when he was going to sign the biggest contract of his business only a month ago, he goes into a panic anxiety to a point that he freezes. He's got uh, all the signs of him thinking that he's having a heart attack since he's only 49 years old and gets to a point 
he can't even drive to the office. So he had to postpone that appointment and start taking care of his health. You see, our subconscious mind is this incredible memory bank. Every thought, every idea, every concept, every image, every essence of what we feel, we think, we hear, we taste, we smell, gets embedded in this beautiful memory bank. It's so complicated and yet simple. You know what I'm talking about, that if there is a scent of a cologne or a perfume, that if you've had a love or either your parents or someone you loved or someone you liked, that if they, if you used to smell that and now every time you go somewhere, if you smell it, it's like something awakens in your sensory mechanism and you go, right? We are so scent oriented. As humans, I truly believe there is this animal, animalistic part of us that our scent is as good as some dogs that we can smell so much better. Now back to Jerry. Once we uncovered, peeled away this, the layers of what could be one, what could be two, and then this domino effect came to unraveling and the moment he realized that part, now that's where the healing starts. And the healing is, there is this 49-year-old parent within him that we asked to go and meet with the 19-year-old boy. And in his state of relaxation while he's sitting in, our, in my recliner, for him to meet with his younger version and become a better parent, to safeguard him and let him know that he is safe. The 19 year old is safe. That today he is a very successful businessman. He is married, he's got three kids, and he wants to thrive and do business with this person and this company that he believes in and knows that this company and this person is going to be benefiting not only him, but his future, his company, his family. And he in turn, by doing signing this contract, and working with this person is going to help them thrive and become better. And he's done his homework and this contract is solid. By understanding that and having that younger version of him saying yes, that's where, as we call it, the vibration, the energy, the conscious and subconscious coming together and being in harmony, being in a safety, being at ease with moving forward with a decision of a lifetime for him. And this could be the beginning of many more contracts with this company. So the moral of the story is, and I believe he signed a contract on Friday and he was going to let me know. And I'm sure he did because once he walked out of here, he felt so confident, so strong, so calm and so at ease. And he's just like, oh my God, I can't believe that could be possible. You know, there's so much about our life, the things we do, the things we say that has stemmed from long time ago. Because that younger version of us, whatever it is that we see, 
sometimes we believe that to be the reality and we come to safeguard us and our subconscious this beautiful part of us that takes everything and will do everything to protect us and safeguard us you know that fight and flight mechanism that we do instinctively when that comes in place besides that the subconscious part of us comes to do everything to provide the best for us and that's what he uh, that's what his subconscious mind his power mind did for Jerry today he is more cognitive he is more conscious and is more connected to the little boy within himself and saying ah I am so ready when we see fire when we go into that fight or flight nowadays we smell it and then automatically we go outside to see what's happening right and so many of us have been affected by that in Los Angeles County we have experienced it living in Los Angeles we also know we experience not only fire but the possibility especially in California Southern California and Northern California also that there are earthquakes today I just heard that in Utah there is fire so a part of nature is knowing it's that innate knowing where we live this is what we face with so by knowing it and understanding it and expecting it and knowing that it can happen there is a there is a part of us that says I can remain calm I can handle this I can cope with this and there is things that are in place for this and thank God to our fire department that we look at them and they go and we applaud them and that's what they are trained to do meanwhile the community does their own and every one of us we hose our roofs our home our plants and everything so if we bring that back to who we are and we realize that as we train our mind as we train our emotions our thoughts and ideas if the day that comes that I am facing a danger that I face anxiety I can remain calm I can handle this if our legs are paralyzing and we can't move forward what are the steps that I am to take that I am having difficulty with or what is it that I am not moving forward with hmm? every single part of us is connected to an emotion and our nervous system that goes down our spine every part of vertebrae that goes through our nervous system the nerve system that sends all this nerves and information to every essence of who we are every cell every every cell every nerve every essence of who we are when one thing goes off when one thing is off it sends it's just a, a, a domino effect you go to a chiropractor they will do a test here they will do a test over here and then they will tell you oh it's from your hip your hip is shifted and once they do an adjustment and everything your vertebrae and everything from your spine gets aligned it's like oh your neck moves your hip adjusts all the way down to your feet again we are so beautiful the most beautiful essence of who we are is being human 
And what we feel, what we think is absolutely glorious. Even the way we love and we want to be loved. If someone has hurt us long time ago, we go into this safeguard. And we safeguard ourselves either by creating, uh, just like Jerry, if I am going to have a huge contract or something like that, that mechanism brings them into this moment. Or when a woman has been hurt long time ago, either physically, mentally, or emotionally, they safeguard themselves, either by adding weight or doing their own way of protecting themselves or sabotaging themselves from love. Where? Here's the kicker. All we want in life, it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, is to be loved, is to be accepted, is to be cherished, and to be wanted. So when what we want does not come to us as readily and as easily, and as it doesn't flow to us, then there is a disconnect. And that's when we tap within. To heal pain, to heal hurt, to heal anything other than going to the doctor and seeing if it's a broken thing we mend, if it is nutrition, we put the nutrition in there. If it is something that it's truly a mechanical thing, a medical thing, a true psychological part, is to heal the emotional, mental part of it. So when I talk about hypnosis and hypnotherapy, when there is an aspect so people think, oh, I can't be hypnotized, it's not that you cannot, it's that you choose not. There is no can't, and there is always a way of knowing that we go in and out of hypnosis every single day, which is another word for trance state which is another word for being in the zone. When we play games, we are in a zone. When we watch TV, we go into a zone. When we are in front of the computer or doing something so focused, we are in our zone. When you are in your zone, when you are meditating and doing yoga, you are in your zone. I want you to know that the magic that happens, happens from within you. No one has control over you. I only help you tap within the aspects that you could not tap and explore on your own. That's it. It's so simple. Even watching a candle burn, when we become mesmerized on that flame, we go into a zone. When we put our headphones on and listen to a music and we can't hear anybody, we are in our zone. So every single day, choose to empower yourself, to heal within, heal your pain and know if there is a disease, if there is a block, if there is something you are not reaching and you've been wanting to, how about tapping within yourself? You can even write it. And one of the most magical way is if you are right-handed, do a left brain uh, writing. And it's called free flow writing. Just sit over there and open a journal and just, just sit. You can even do that with left brain or even with your hand, your le uh, main hand, and sit there and just allow things to come. Maybe one day you, it will be about two minutes, you get bored, and just give yourself five minutes 
and you just write anything that comes with no judgment, with no criticism, no expectations, just allow free flow. And the next day you do it for seven minutes and then 10 minutes or just sit with your thoughts. Allow thoughts to come and go and it doesn't matter what it is. And each time a thought comes and send it out into the clouds, your imaginary clouds, because clouds always come and go. Hmm? It's the beauty of clouds. There is no way a cloud can remain there all day long, every single day for the longest time. Because eventually, if it's a cloud and it's a fluffy cow, they move about. And even during storms, the cloud opens up and water comes through. And eventually, those clouds also move away. Nothing in our life is permanent. Nothing in our life is stagnant. We are at continuum movement in life from our body from our thoughts from life from friends from relationships today choose to take one step forward and give yourself permission to evoke what was embrace what is today the reality and be ready to evolve to what you desire by letting go and letting the domino effect open up so that when you put the domino, all the puzzles back and back, you get to read the domino numbers. I don't know why I came up with dominoes today, but I remember my grandfather teaching me dominoes. And I could play with him for hours and hours. And you know, that is what we go to. So what a beautiful circle this is. That I started with being safe. And where is safety and home? And the domino effect. And me being safe, remembering as a child, playing dominoes with my grandfather and knowing that as long as he was with me, I was safe. May you find your place of safety and every single person who is in a place of danger. May God keep you safe. May God surround you with safety and his grace and his light. May the universe envelop you in this place of safety that you are cradled in a place where you feel safe physically, mentally, and emotionally, and spiritually. And may we ask for God's safety in all who are fighting and protecting us in our city, in our community, in our country, and outside of here. With that, I thank you for being a part of Heal Talk Tuesday. And if this message resonates with you, or you believe that this message is something that a friend or someone you want, to listen to, please share it. I look forward to all your messages and I will respond. Thank you for being with me. And this is Lisa Bubari. Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. And you can always find me at healwithin.com and send me an email or Connect with me via Facebook, and I am here for you. With that, I thank you for this time, and I will see you next week. Until then, have a victorious day.